I saw this picture of Ron Howard with his 1970 VW Bug, and it made me think of a uh, personal experience of my own when my father let me have our ancient 1969 <laughs> Volkswagen Bug when I was shortly out of college. He just thought, well, it's not worth anything. Why don't you go ahead and take it? So I did. The only problem was that thing drank a lot of oil. And being the negligent 23-year-old that I was, I was not keeping up with the oil, and I let the engine burn up. My dad would not have been happy with me. I never did tell him the real reason the car stopped working. But in any respect, I saw this sweet picture of Ron Howard with his 1970 VW Beetle, and he was telling the story of how he... He, he had his money from the Andy Griffith show, and he was 16 years old. And rather than blowing his money on something ridiculous like a Ferrari or something, his father talked him into getting a sensible VW Bug, which he ended up loving. He kept it until about 1976 and then got rid of it. Well, his brother-in-law, many years later, found in Redding, California, the original VW Bug. It even had Ron Howard's old college sticker still on it. So as a special surprise, the brother-in-law bought the VW, had the engine repaired, and shipped it to Ron Howard. And Ron Howard just fell in love with it all over again. And he insists to this day it's the main car that he always drives. He said that his future wife and he used to date in that car and now many many years after their marriage they still go out on dates in that car so anyway that's the story of ron howard and his vw bug and my youthful folly please like and subscribe my channel chuck's captivating chronicles